I saw the trailer for this when I went to see Venom. At that point I didn't even know they were making another one of these. And to be blunt it looked like a legit mess. But I really like Claire Foy and I think she's a great actor. I also really liked the first Swedish movie, the original one. And Fincher's version was pretty well made too, but I didn't love it. But then just a couple of days ago I watched a movie called Don't Breed by Fede Alvarez. And I thought it was really really effective and well put together. It was cheap looking and the acting wasn't great, but it still worked very well. And he made this movie. So I got a bit more curious. I mean it didn't look promising, but it had the potential to be decent. And well it's a weird one for sure, because there's a lot to like about it. But there are also a few major issues with it. The main one being the script. It just felt really uninspired and generic in a lot of ways. But on the other hand, a lot of the movie looks and feels really good. And then some of it doesn't. So let's just get into it I guess. The movie is set in Sweden and most of it seems to actually be shot in Sweden too. And it's about this woman who's sort of a vigilante. Her whole thing is bringing justice to women who are being mistreated. But the movie starts with a flashback to when she's just a kid. And I didn't care for it, it just didn't sit right. However, the first real sequence of the movie, after the titles, was great. I loved it, it looks fantastic, there's a lot of great shots. Fede Alvarez knows what he's doing and the visuals are the best part of the movie. The cinematography is great, the direction is great, the production design is really good. For the most part, but then some of it isn't. Especially the scenes with heavy CGI, they look pretty bad. Thankfully there's not a lot of that just here and there. But there was one sequence in particular that just felt off. It's a car chase sequence. And I don't think it looked as good as the rest of it. The cinematography was off. The shots felt different too. I mean the camera work. Even the sound design felt off. It's like it was made by a different crew. To put it into perspective, in one scene there's a car that sounds like a sewing machine. Really unimpactful. In another, a regular stapler sounds like a bass drum mixed with a shotgun. Really impactful. And I don't know what happened, but parts of this thing feel Frankenstein together. Which is a shame, because as I said, most of the movie looks really good. And I was actually hesitant about Claire Foy in this role too. But she's really good in it. So there are some of the building blocks of a very good movie here. And I could even looked past the wonky parts if it weren't for the script. Because it's really weak. It works and has all the parts needed to work. But it's lazy, uninspired and overall just feels incredibly generic. It felt like a poorly written Bond movie and I just didn't care at all. But it did make me realize something. I'm kinda over these cartoon villains and their plots to take over the world. Like the higher the stakes, the less interesting it is to me. Because I've seen it a million times before and I can't relate to it. How are you supposed to get invested in these threats to the entire world? It just doesn't work for me. I need something a lot more personal. You know, to really get invested and engaged with the story and the characters. Oh and imagine this hypothetical scenario. You're in Sweden in the winter and you need to lay low. But you need a car, something inconspicuous and practical, for the snowy weather. What car would you pick? An SUV? A nice Volvo? Maybe even a Range Rover? Well, I personally agree with the movie. Get a Lambo. You know, for the grip and the great clearance. And hey, everyone drives a Lambo too, so you really fit in. Maybe that's just me though. Anyway, <laughs> would I recommend this? Not really, no. It's pretty safe to skip it. But hey, do whatever you want. I'm not your dad. Also, I'm trying to sell out here, so consider liking, subscribing, hitting that bell, and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need that gold-plated Lambo for these winter conditions.